Tell you, Hazel, what's going on. Both players are missing all sorts. It's just pure tension at the moment. We had two very easy misses just before you joined us. Ricky Walton had this red, a red that he didn't think he was going to have a chance to get at. But I'll tell you what, it'll be a very relieved Barry Hawkins because he missed a sitter also. This was the brown that Barry missed. Well, Ricky was coming out of his seat, but now that he's fluked that, uh, he has to sit back down into it. He needs three snookers, and if the green goes in, the frame is all over. Sixteen. Well, I'm not surprised that 16, Ricky Walden's going to leave the arena. That was such a tense affair. Both players missed very easy chances. And Barry Hawkins must be absolutely delighted. He now right, leads run, 11 frames to 10. And you get the feeling that perhaps Ricky Walden must be thinking, oh, no, this could be deja vu. This is exactly what happened, obviously, in, the, in that semi-final last year. How do you read this one so far, Steve? Uh, well, we've been keeping an eye on it, uh, and um, yeah, yeah, from Ricky Walden's perspective, uh, it, it probably did come as a bit of a shock last year, getting to the semi-final. Uh, and to some degree, I know full well he must have thought there was something wrong because the following season, the start of this season, he had a new cue. He tried a maple cue. He's not playing with one now. I don't know if he's gone back to his original one or another ash cue. But yeah, when a player starts changing, it's because they're looking for something else. Mm. So at the start of the season, obviously, that had affected him. He's had a good season in, in many other departments. You know, it's a long way back. But the trouble is, playing the same player probably magnifies the problem. Uh, just the fact that you've sort of you know, thrown away a bit of a lead is bad enough. But against the same player, are you thinking he's your bogey player? Yeah, well, the, the other element to bring into this discussion is the fact that there's so much expectation. That certainly, I would think, in Barry Hawkins' mind, he's expecting to get to the later stages now after that run. Surely, John? Yeah, and that comes with added pressure, doesn't it? You know, turning up at a tournament thinking, oh, well, I might have a good run in it. But when you look at the draw and think, oh, I've got half a chance here. It could be in the semi-final, maybe a chance of the final. Totally different out outlook you've got. Uh, we, as I say, due to the wonders of technology, we've been keeping an eye on both screens. We can manage to do that. We can multitask. You can multitask. We can do that. We've been watching it. There's been a lot of twitching going on, and I'm, I think it's quite right that Ricky's gone out just to compose himself a little bit because he's getting a little bit aerated and a bit frustrated. Yeah, he was so far ahead in that final, and uh, it was Barry Hawkins uh, who came back the semi-final to, to win eight on the bounds and beat him last year. I remember speaking to, to Ricky afterwards, and he said he just had nothing left. The whole the rigours of the Crucible run had taken so much out of him. He was eating he was eating almonds, he was eating bananas, anything to get a bit of protein, something back into his body. It really is a gruelling test, this, isn't it? Well, well, the tournament itself is a, is a growing test. It always has been. Obviously, second round, you wouldn't expect that to be yeah. the problem. But the other scenario that rears its ugly head is the burnt-out scenario of yeah. players having very full season these days. Um, China, the, the, the Beijing tournament in China, wasn't that long before this event. And Couple a lot of, of the players were you know, discussing whether they should pull out of it. Um, so, that, you know, is there, is there any valid, validity in that? I don't really know, but... Um, you know, good, good competition is something you can't buy, but if you get too much of it and you want a bit of space before the main events, I don't know. And I, I, I'm talking off the top of my head because I'm not even sure where Ricky was in this. Well, well, ironically, it was Barry Hawkins who decided not to go to China, as he told us earlier on, so his last memory of competition coming in here is winning that Players' Championship and with it one of the biggest paychecks he's ever had. So he carries both a rest and that confidence into the, this latter part of the match. Shall we get back there? Ooh, twitchy. Very, very twitchy indeed. Hazel, Hawkins, 11. Walden, 10. And he's, uh, he's on a run here, is Barry Hawkins. Six of seven frames from 9-5 down. As the guys in the studio alluded to, memories perhaps from Ricky Walden of how Barry finished off in the semi-finals last year. Barry Hawkins reappeared into the arena around about 30, 40 seconds before Ricky Walden. 
who had become very, very an animated, a little bit too passionate. Dennis, at times, he punched his chair, he hit himself on the head, and it wouldn't have surprised me if his dressing room wall got one a few moments ago. Yeah, and it was a bit premature when he was back in his seat because all of a sudden Thank Barry you. missed a sitter and, uh, of course, Ricky had got himself in the wrong frame of mind. And this was what uh, Ricky, how he, he responded there because he thought Barry was going to clinch the frame and then Barry missed an easy pink. So when you come back to the table after doing that, you're not really in the right frame of mind. But listen, that's all gone. There's only one frame the difference. Forget about that lead that you had, 9-5. Doesn't make any difference now. Put that at the back of your mind and start again. Easier said than done. So he needs a couple of good safety shots because Ricky has played a few safeties where he's been catching other reds. He's one of the nicest lads you could ever wish to meet. Well, both these lads are fantastic, but it just shows you what it means to them, this World Championship. That's more like it. Having said that, there's a path through to the red for the left corner, but that's the one you can see. The black not available, the pink awkward. So not straightforward here. Well, it's just a bundle of adrenaline and nerves out there at the moment. Both players really under it. Some fabulous flourishing pots and break building early on in this contest, but it's been a little bit error strewn over the last few frames. Hawkins has just nudged back ahead. I think he wants to have a go at this, Dennis. Yeah, I mean, the two opening frames, I mean, what a start with it century from Barry and then a 93 from Ricky but then we had two frames that went very awkward indeed but look at the way the reds are spread here so needs a good queuing this he may be able to get himself onto the pink just off straight Well, that really was the tension creeping Thank in again. And what a chance now for Ricky Walden. He's got an easy starter. Yes, nowhere near, really. Hence the double kiss and this opportunity for Ricky Walden. To bounce straight back. Blocked into the left pocket, but that's available to him. A couple of shots time if he needs it. But that first shot that Six. he played, Ricky, he didn't leave a good angle. Now already he's got a little bit to do with this. The pink will go into the left middle also. And that's what he's played for. Seven. Does the black go? Surely he's not out of position straight away. What's he doing up the other end of the table? He may have hit that too hard, you know. Well, I can't believe the black won't go. He's hit it too hard for the pink. Well, that's incredible to be out of position in two shots. Ricky Walden, seven. At the moment, Ricky's heads all over the place. And that's what the Crucible can do to you. Yes, has struggled for a long time here at the Crucible Theatre, Ricky Walden. Arriving here 12 months ago, having never won a match at this famous venue. 
and then went all the way to the semi-finals where he lost to today's opponent, Barry Hawkins. He has left a good white there, but he'll be kicking himself at making just seven from that. And the old dreaded double kiss has left Ricky back in again. Even though he's using the extension on the rest and the cue, he's got an easy starter here and quite a comfortable positional shot to play. And you know, he hasn't hit that either. One. He's jabbed at that. He should have been further up the table. He would have had a straightforward brown or blue. Just didn't get the screw on it. Now he's got to go in and out of the balk area to get back up to the reds. If he drops on the one that's above the black, it's a terrific shot. Needs to keep on coming. He's got alternates. Five. Boy, if he had a, ran another few inches, he could have dropped the one in that's next to the black, and the black would have been in the open. And he's just a few inches away from that. But he has the other red. Six. It's all about trying to hold yourself together now. He's a very quick player, Ricky, under these sort of conditions. Just give yourself an extra second or two. He's well capable of reeling off a few quick fire frames and he hasn't played it as he wanted he's not on the red little shake of the head he needed to screw back a bit further then just roll the red and the blacks available to the left corner pocket and now he can't get on the black and the pink well it's totally out of the game now Michaela just getting it as close to his own spot in a direct line behind it 12 but just those few inches again ruined things for Ricky How do you get on the colour here? Do you risk playing a little cannon to push the black on? No. Well, maybe. Maybe it goes. All of a sudden, Ricky was down, had a quick look at the black. Maybe he can get it past the red. As we pan round, we show you the black will go. Oh. Ricky Walden, 13. It's hard to describe what's going on out there and what Ricky's going through. Never, ever look comfortable on that shot. He plays an excellent shot to free up the black. Not in a good place at the moment, Ricky Walden. One. Shaking away at the head there. Yeah. Just has got himself into the wrong frame of mind. Yes, you say, Dennis, he's got to forget about the lead that has vanished, but he clearly hasn't forgotten about that. Well, that's what we talk about when you talk about sports psychology, and they would tell you that, you know, you've got to forget about what's gone but you know, it takes a lot of hard work and practice to get the mind right now if he drops on this red here to the right of the black surely he's not going to snooker himself on it well Three. what else are we going to see here everything's happening Couldn't have played it any better. Very unfortunate to drop right in behind the red. Three. 
Sorry, Hawkins, three. Ricky's got to compose himself. You're still in this. And if that's a three ball plant, that would be a bonus, but I don't think it is. I would think it's going to the right of the pocket. Well, he might squeeze it away, though. Might get it. I just squeeze it away. Where's the cue ball? Oh. The plant was in line with the pocket. But because of the angle he was hitting the red in front of the plant, it squeezed it away to the side of the pocket. <laughs> no, not bad, really. He's left one possible pot, and what a shot this is for Ricky Walden. Red into the right corner. The black may be available. Well, here we go. Big shot. How's your cue in, Ricky? Not good. <coughs> in fact, the cueing was so bad he didn't get on the black, but he's left it safe now he's gonna need an easy chance you'd have to say ricky to to get a little bit of composure back Barry trying to get the cue ball tight on the ball cushion. Didn't achieve that, but uh, <laughs> Ricky Walden's faced with a couple of very difficult pots, one into the left corner, one into the right corner. options and here we go again you could do with one of these sooner rather than later now decided I've missed too many and the cue ball is going to be close it's in the pocket well, Bye, Hawkins. well everything's happening out there he thought this time I won't risk the pot I'll play a good safety Barry's got a choice of reds. A noise from the other side of the arena they're in between frames but he went full-blooded didn't hit it well but I'll tell you what the little kiss <laughs> has made it slightly more difficult for Ricky he had a straightforward shot should be okay even with the long rest here well Ricky Walden you won't have a better chance than this can he hold himself together and take us to a deciding frame there's a lot of balls to be potted before that's the case, but the chance is there. They're all there for him now. He can't complain, Ricky Walden, about a lack of opportunities. Can he now make one count? A real turnaround. The second session yesterday dominated Eight. by Walden. He won five in a row from 5-4 down. Hawkins rescuing the last two of the session, and he's 
brought that impetus to the table today. Nine. Fifteen. Sixteen. It's just two more comfortable reds after this pink. He's going to need one of the difficult reds, 22. if not two of them. It's got an angle here on the black just to stun up past the pink. Leave that red this closer to the cue ball. Thirty. Red, black, and one more red. Would leave Barry needing a snooker. Thirty-one. And just stun in behind that red that's to the right of the black, and just roll it in to make sure of the frame. Doesn't want to be forcing this one. Thirty-eight. Fifty-one. The difference. Just this red. Well, he did punch Thank it in. Know. And I'll tell you what, George, he'll be feeling a little better now, and it's going to be a toss of a coin, as we say, in a deciding frame. This will have done him the uh, absolute world 46. of good. Of course, it's the first to 13, so <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting a bit excited here in the commentary box. That's what happens when I make you a cup of tea, Dennis. You lose it. But he's taken these well, Ricky Walden, considering how agitated he was getting. 53. Punching the chair, knocking his knuckle against his own head. Well, that won't drop, <laughs> but Barry won't bother about coming back. Well done, Ricky Walden. He sorted his head out after losing six of seven. He's hit back and will level again at 11 frames apiece.